Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about best social media cross posting automation. So today our objective is that whenever we post something on our Instagram account, then we want to post the same thing on our other social media platforms such as Facebook and LinkedIn. For this, we are going to create an integration between Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. For creating this integration, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Instagram. In Action application, I'm going to use Facebook and LinkedIn. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today I'm going to show you how you can integrate all your social media platforms together and you can post the same post on all of your social media together. So here I'm going to use my Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn account. And I'm going to post the same post on all my social media. For this, I'm going to create an integration between Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. For creating this integration, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. This will take me to the Atlantic page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. Here, these are all the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. So I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now I'm going to create a new workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to automate social media posts. Now I'm going to select my folder where I want to save my workflow. So I will select home and I will click on create. And this will take me to this most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which my workflow works on. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So first I will set up my trigger and here my trigger application will be Instagram. So I will search for that. I will click here. Now I will give a trigger event. So new media posted in my account will be my trigger event. I will select this and I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Instagram. So I will click on allow to give access to my account. So I have connected my Instagram account. Now, before clicking on save and send as request button, I will go to my Instagram account and I will create a new post. So I will click on create. I will select from computer. So this is the photo that I want to post. So I will select this. I will click on next. I will click on next and I will give a caption. So my caption will be nature at its best and I'm going to share this post. So I have posted this image in my Instagram. I will go back to Public Connect and I will click on Save and Send Test Request button. So we have this response here. So this is the link of my image that I have posted on Instagram. Nature at its best and this is my post ID and this is my username for my Instagram. Now what I want is I want to post the same post on my other social media platform. So I'm going to set up my action and in my action I will select Facebook. I'll post it on my Facebook page. So I'm going to select this. So for my action event, I will open this. So create page photo post will be my action event. I will select this and I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with Facebook pages. I will click on continue to give access to my account. I have successfully connected my Facebook page. Now I have these details here. First, I will select my page. So let's go to Facebook. And this is my page, which is test page. So I'm going to use this page to create a post. 
So I will go back to Pabli Connect. I will select my post, which is test page. Now I have to give a photo URL. So I will select that. So I'm going to map that photo URL from the response that we got from the Instagram. So I will map this and I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous step and the data is changing. So the new data will get replaced in the real time. So I will click here. I will open the response and this is my media URL. So I'm going to select this and for the description, I will select the caption that we had on my Instagram post. So I will map this here. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request button. In the response, we can see it has posted the same post on my Facebook account. Now to check this, let's go to Facebook. I will refresh. And here we can see we have this new post and the caption and the description is nature at its best. So this was the caption that we had on my Instagram account. And this is the same post that we had on my Instagram. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and I will connect my LinkedIn account now. So I will add this action step and I will search for LinkedIn. Now I have to give action event. So I will open this and share an article or URL will be my action event. So I will select this. I will click on connect to connect my LinkedIn account. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with LinkedIn. So I have successfully connected my LinkedIn account. Now I have to map these details. So first I will select the author, which is Ashi and I have to give the content. So for the content, I'm going to map the caption that we use on our Instagram post. So I will click here and I will open this. So this is the caption. So I'm going to map this as a content and I have to give an article URL. So I'm going to map the media URL from the Instagram. Now the visibility will be public. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. Now in the response, we had this ID. Now to check whether we have posted the same post on our LinkedIn or not, let's go to LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn profile. I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to scroll down and here in the activity section, we had this new post. Let's open this. So this is the same image that we had on my Instagram and on my Facebook account. So this is the caption that we had on my Instagram and we had this description on our Facebook account too. So our integration between all our social media accounts is working successfully. And what we did here is that whenever we are posting something on our Instagram account, then the same post is posted on, on our social media accounts. Now let's go back to public connect and let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was Instagram. And our trigger event was new media posted in my account. Then we have set up our action and our action application was Facebook pages. And our action event was create page photo post. Then we have set up our last action and our action application was LinkedIn. And our action event was share an article or URL. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And, and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications. You can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.